Fuchsia Shoes was one of the first ever reviews that I ever did on this channel. And a month or two ago, this company reached back out to me and asked me if I wanted to do an updated review and try out some of their new styles. And I feel like, at least for nostalgia's sake, I have to take a look and check it out, do a little bit of a throwback video to one of my original videos. And this company is really interesting. They actually hand make all of their shoes. So let's get to the unboxing. <music> open it. These are the most like perfectly sized boxes for this box. It's like the three pairs like perfectly fit in here. And to be honest, I didn't even realize they were sending me three pairs. I thought they were just going to send me one. So thank you to Fuchsia for sending me these three pairs. I am excited to try them out, but let's dive in. I sent them basically a few options of styles that I liked. And I think they sent me like one or two of those and then maybe another one. But these are really like, So the boxes are pretty small. It's like a little smaller than a normal shoe box. Okay, so the first pair is this uh, pair of flats. And I think these are the ones that are most similar to the original pair that I tried, but they have told me that they've made some adjustments to the leather and just kind of like how they're made a little bit. So I am excited to see how, what I think about them versus like my original one. That was like five or six, or, that was a long time ago. It was many years ago that I did that original review. This pair, I think they're really cute. These ones I feel like are not quite as much of my personal style. I'm not really wearing a ton of like, more of the ballet flat style anymore, but they are really cute. Like they have like cute detail on the back. They have like these little butterflies. I think this, I don't know. It just feels like a little bit more like of like a child kind of style. I don't know. <laughs> like I feel like it feels, I feel like this style feels a little bit more like youthful. Like maybe I could imagine like a preteen wearing this. Like it just feels a little bit younger. And now I'm 30 and I'm like, I don't know. I feel like these are like not quite my style, but let's look at the next pair. These next two, I think are the ones that I picked out. So I'm really excited to see them. Super cute. These ones, like, I'm a little nervous about these ones cause like, I don't know. It's a little bold with these eyes, but I like these a lot. Like first impressions, they are really cool and they're very soft. It's more of like a like suede material. So I'm very interested to see what these feel like and look like on. But first impressions, these are really cool. Like there's so much detail on them. Wow, I didn't expect it necessarily to be so like three dimensional. And let's try it. look at the next pair. Okay, so this is another style of the mules. Ooh, these are also really nice. This one feels more of like a velvety texture. Maybe this one does too, actually. Like, yeah, maybe it's not as much as like a suede as much as it is like a velvet texture, but these are super cute. I love how these ones look. And just right off the bat, one thing I will notice is different versus the original pair that I tried back so many years ago is originally they, I think, didn't have left and right shoes. Like it was just all one. And I'm not sure if the flats are still like that, but these shoes actually do not have a left or a right. They are both the same and you can kind of decide which one you want to be the left shoe and which one you want to be the right shoe. And then you have to break them in. These ones definitely do have like a left and a right. Like you can kind of tell from the bottom, they're shaped a little bit differently. These are so pretty. I think I love the beadwork on them. Let's Let's try these out. So Fuchsia Shoes was founded back in 2016. And really what I think they're trying to convey as their main differentiator is their focus on craftsmanship and supporting local artists in Pakistan. So all of their shoes are handmade in Sangle Hill, Pakistan. And as far as what they say, like there's no big like machinery, these shoes are not mass produced, but rather all the shoes are made using kind of more historic craftsmanship techniques that are local to the area in Pakistan. Something that's a little bit more unique. And as far as I can tell, it seems like they do take pride in like taking good care of their workers and all of that. So assuming that's all true, I think it's really great. Now for my first impressions of the ballet flats, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really love these ones. I think I just don't really love how they look. They're not really my style. I also don't like they make kind of a loud squeaking sound. <laughs> 
Also, I think they fit pretty well, but I don't think they fit like absolutely perfectly. They feel a little bit more like rigid versus something that's more like formed to your feet and just like, it's like a glove. But I think that that is probably just an issue of like not having really broken them in yet. I imagine they would kind of mold a little bit more to your feet with a little bit more wear. That being said, there's definitely some things that I have noticed about these that I like better than the first time I tried Fuchsia shoes. So number one, I think they do fit better. The first time I tried them, I feel like they had a lot more gaping around the side of my foot, which was because they didn't differentiate between left and right. Now it seems like they do have left and right. So they've kind of fixed that problem. But I feel like there still is like a little bit of gaping on the side. So not perfect, but definitely better than last time. Also, I really am liking that there's like the nice kind of velvety interior to them. I do wonder how well that would wear over time. I think leather maybe would wear better. For now, it feels like very soft and luxurious on the inside. It's like a little like velvety blanket kind of like wrapped around my feet, which feels very nice and luxurious. And I think all three pairs that I got have that kind of interior. So these pair I would say are probably my second favorite with the eyes being my favorite pair. And I will say the sizing is definitely different between these and the flats. I actually have two different size feet. So my right foot is a nine and a half and my left foot is a tiny smidge above a size nine. I think it's like a 9.1 or something. Typically I'll go either between like a nine and nine and a half depending on the style of the shoe. First pair I tried was a nine and I feel like those fit perfectly. Like it seemed like nine was the correct size for me. This also feels like the right size, but this is a size 10. If these were any smaller, they would be too small. So I think these are are also the right size for my feet. But again, these feel really nice and comfortable. I like the velvety interior and I do really like this style. At least I feel like they're a little bit more of my style right now. Let me share the third pair. The eye ones I'm really liking, but the only thing I'm a little bit worried about is I don't know the history of kind of like this eye symbol, but I feel like I look more into it. But again, it seems like the size 10 in these fits me perfectly. And one thing to note about Fuchsia shoes is they do just have whole sizes. So I would definitely recommend sizing up for the mules and then maybe sizing to your normal size or sizing down for the flats. That would be my recommendation, but they also have a size chart on the website. So I would pay attention to that. The only thing I've kind of noticed is I feel like there's just some like really small imperfections with some of the beadwork. And I did notice that on the other one, but I feel like for the price point, like it seems really reasonable and it, I don't think you'd really notice those little imperfections. I'm going to try to wear these a little bit more and try to wear them outside and get a little bit more of a sense of like how they wear and then I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> the price of the shoes is $98 for the flats and $78 for the mules or the slides. I think that's a very reasonable price considering that these are handmade and it's honestly kind of surprising to me that the new style they have, which is the mules, is even less expensive than what I think is their original style, which is the flat. I feel like they could definitely raise their prices, especially for something that is handmade. So I think the price is pretty reasonable, but I do have actually like a referral discount code. I will put that down in the description that will give you $20 off. So feel free to use that if you want even more of a discount. So it's a few days later and last night I wore the eye shoes out for the first time and I wore them to a concert where I thought this concert we would have a seat but by the time we got there it ended up being standing room only. So I was just wearing them standing for the whole night and I'm happy to report I did not even notice my feet the whole time. Like there was absolutely no discomfort, no areas where it was even like rubbing where I was like wow I feel like I might start getting a blister here or anything like that. Normally I would not wear a brand new pair of shoes to a concert like this just in case I have any type of like fit issues or comfort issues but happy to report like nothing like that happened. They're actually really quite comfortable. I really like the inside was so fuzzy and soft. It really felt like I was wearing slippers out in public, which was a very comfortable feeling. The only thing I will say is they definitely felt like a little bit thin in terms of the sole. So I don't necessarily think these would necessarily be the best for like going on a long walk or something where you want more support and just kind of more of like a hefty pair of shoes that is going to be more I don't know, durable or like suited for that type of thing. So that's my only caveat that I didn't necessarily love about them. But overall, they were definitely super comfortable. And that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know any questions in the comments and until next time. Bye.